<laughs> okay, got my dad here, and what we're gonna do is that thing where some people were like, oh, here's a Pokemon, now my parent has to guess which Pokemon it is. Now we're gonna do it for video game covers. Uh, my dad, uh, what was like the first video games you think he played, like Doom and stuff like that? Yeah, arcade, it was like, um, games like Pac-Man, yeah. And, yeah. You got the computer, you had like Wolfenstein, you know, Doom, mm -hmm. Carmen San Diego, you know, just some really gory games yeah, where people would die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, you know, uh, guns weren't allowed in the household when I was a kid, but they were before I was born, you know, back when uh, dad was playing Doom and all those. Only virtually. Uh, mom got mad at me for pretending to be Mega Man. I was in the kitchen doing like this with my arm. <laughs> she, yeah. she got mad at me. Yeah. There you go. Well, just wait till the NRA hears about it. Okay, what do you think the title of this game is? Yeah. Uh, farmland? <laughs> farmland? Alright, okay, cool. We got Farmland. Uh, let's look at our second game. What do you think the title of this one is? We got some, uh... We got the, I feel like these, these people look like Rick and Morty enemies that they bring in for a couple episodes, or... And then Rick outsmarts them with, like, a fart machine or something. Yeah, some kind of... Um... Anime, the, the Tri Squad. You got <laughs> the Tri Squad. Yeah, there's three of them. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Do you guess? Okay, what about this one? Yeah, it's got that mm, steampunk look to it. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is that? A helmet? So he's some kind of undersea oh. dude. Yeah, yeah, I think he is underwater in this shot. Or maybe he, because he's like stepping in a puddle. So may, maybe he's just in an area that doesn't have really good flood insurance or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is some kind of steampunk thing, so... I don't know. Steambot. <laughs> Steambot, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's like some sort of serial killer, I guess, you know. Yeah, so he's got a mask. It, it's kind of Jason-like. It yeah. looks like a adulterated uh, hockey mask on. Okay, we're, mask. Get, we're getting somewhere, so, all right. You know. Be the the Durant, the disgraced NHL player. Yeah, maybe he was like he was a victim of some kind of um, you know if you're familiar with rollerball, right? It's this old movie where it's like they play a game like uh, um, like derby, but they kill each other. Yeah, this is a hockey game, and they conspire to kill him by they they juice the puck. So oh! He, so he took a, a slap shot to the face mask, mm -hmm. and it killed him. Wow! Right, hit him right in the mouth. Yeah, so, it probably penetrated through his brain. That so. seems like the kind of thing this guy did. Yeah, because it's not. And you can tell he was like a demon because his weapons are some kind of light, light spikes or whatever on his back there. Mm. I mean, people think it's a symbol, like you know, like five. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, they're, they're yeah, they're they're like light spikes that he can toss. Ooh, that's that's a good guess, yeah. Opponents, yeah. Because it looks like tally marks, but clearly there's something more than just tally marks yeah, going on exactly. here. exactly. So what do you think this game is called? Uh, this game is called... Um, Gold Slayer. Ooh, there you go, Gold Slayer. He probably does slay something. I, I know what the real title is, so you know, you, you got the Slayer part right for sure. All right, what about this game? This game probably does not have any uh, hockey death in it. No, nope, not at all. So this looks like some kind of General Mills contraption. Okay. <laughs> These guys look like food, you know? Again, a, a, a more adulteration, this time with food. Yeah, all right. This one dude is like a marshmallow <laughs> covered and... Is that a chicken? I think that's a chicken's beak. Maybe, so still food, I guess, if yeah. he's a chicken. Yeah, and uh... There's a hamburger, too. Yeah, yeah, you're on to something. Marshmallow coating. You know, Dude, I'll tell you, gross. Monsanto is Kids behind like this. Yeah. yeah, Monsanto for sure. He's kind of a, a hamburger, not hamburger, but uh, <laughs> yeah. the Big Mac character. Yeah. yeah. I think I see some lettuce there, a little cheese. I think that's American cheese, too. Mm, there you go. It better be. Kind of dripping, yeah. There's like a pink thing behind that could be like ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream soda. Yeah. Well, this is really interesting. Yeah. So maybe this is the, uh, this is a sweet treats gang. Sweet treat gang. Yeah. All right. They, they do seem like a sweet treat gang. A lot of games don't, don't, they don't bring it, they don't team up with the animals like they used to. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. PETA, you know, we yeah. got them all. But, uh. Got that Jack Nicholas looking dude. <laughs> he uh, does look like yeah. him. <laughs> I just realized that too. Yeah, and it's like car, motorcycle, and helicopter. Mm, there you, know? you go. 
So a little bit of that fast, fast, fast and furious yeah, fast thing. And but again, the dog. Right, know, that's, yeah. That's new. That's, that's a different twist there. Yeah, Fast and Furious is usually just people with the acting skills of a dog and not a dog itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's Jaws White. I mean, I had to cover up part of the dog because, you know, I had to, uh, I didn't want you to see the title, which is underneath that square. But yeah, it's interesting that the, uh, it's a little bit uh, derivative with the woman. She's got just a, <laughs> everyone else looks tough. They got their arm, they got guns, they got She's equipment. taking a selfie. Yeah, she's got, is that an iPhone? So, you know, she's got a ring on, so she's got a jewelry on, you know. There you go, all right. The guy's in, like, jerseys. This dude doesn't even have a shirt on, maybe, at the bottom. Maybe they're trying to flip it and make, like, her the savvy businessman, and these guys are freeloaders, you know. Yeah, right. This guy looks like he just rolled out of bed, and she had to get her nails done and everything to, yeah. to go, you know, beat up a crook or beat up someone who didn't have her money. Well, what do you think this game is called? Uh, what would this game be called? It's like, uh... Third Wave Feminism 5. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> if only. Tough team. I don't tough know. team. Yeah. <laughs> they are tough. I throw it on yeah, there. I know this one, but the name is escaping me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this is like one of those series. Mm, it is, um, yeah. Very long. I don't guess I get a hint, do I? Um, you know. It uh, starts with, what's the start, starting letter? <laughs> well, it starts with an H. So you'll probably get Hilo. Hilo. No. Um... You're close. Something like that. Uh, You're close. Yeah. Very close. What else? What else like that? Uh, <laughs> mom's trying to help you in the back. Halo. Thank there you. There we yeah. go. Yeah. All right. And mom, it, mom's hint did not help me. <laughs> if you were a Gen Z, or you would have it in an instant. But uh, uh, you're, um, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're Gen X, right? Borderline. I think so. Yeah. yeah borderline right, baby boomer. Yeah. So, yeah. This, this, it'll be tough for for you. Uh, what do What do you? Uh, there is a lot going on too. There is a lot, man. There's pirates and mermaids <laughs> and. Looks like a uh, Autobot back there. Looks like a uh, samurai dude. Looks like a Zack Snyder version of a Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, or something. yeah, something like that. Except Super Friends. <laughs> is that what you think it's called? Super Frenzy. Super Frenzy. Oh, there you go. Honestly, I think that's a way better title and a more accurate name than the actual name for it. I think well, that that. Thanks. Yeah, I, th I think Super Frenzy is a much better name for this. Okay, what about this one? Okay, I got a little uh, Clint Eastwood ripoff going on there. <laughs> well, did you play this game? I did, because Clint Eastwood had a movie that was called... Um, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly? Not that one. Uh, High Plains Drifter. Oh. Yeah, and it's got that, it was like this reddish, the town got painted red, you know? Mm -hmm. The good, the good, the bad, and the ugly on the High Plains. Ooh, <laughs> all right, we'll go with that one. There, yeah. Honestly, that would be a really cool video game. Oh. Yeah. Um, it would just be really difficult for you to guess this somehow, but yeah. uh, it's another series though, which also doesn't help. I don't know why I'm giving these clues that don't help, but <laughs> <laughs> I guess you got to, there's another shot in the dark for you. Yeah, it's kind of got that Wolverine look to it, um, mm. but he's got a glowing eyeball. I guess that means something, you know. Maybe he's like a a, a mix of uh, Cyclops and Wolverine. Mm, you know? Could be, yeah, yeah. So, Cyberine or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Let's go with that. Cyberine yeah, Cyberine. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you got this kind of brutish figure here. Um, I'm guessing he's probably the. Uh, oh, is that the hero on the little? Is that a little horse that somebody's sitting on? I get eye, yeah. yes. Someone sitting on a little horse. So I, it's not Monster Hunter, is it? Ooh, it's not. But uh, that was a great guess. That was a really, really good guess. Well, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> Monster Hunter, the spinoff. Okay, another a little more uh, Fast and Furious. Five yeah, there, there we go. What you say? Was that a, is that a Trans Am or maybe like a Mustang in the middle of it? Yeah, you know, they got yeah. A... So one genre that was popular was the uh, Smash Up Derby one. Mm, you know, just crash yeah. car. So oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know. It's like the yeah. It's definitely a Smash Up Derby type thing. So yeah. And they've got the car, this one car on top of the others. You yeah, know? like a Mercury Cougar or something. Yeah, we'll call it. Uh, King of the Chill, like hey. the Track Pack. The know? Track Pack. <laughs> Again, that's a better name than the actual name for this oh, game. Yeah. Okay, again, thank you. There we go. Uh, go through and tell you what the real name of all of them okay. are. Okay. All right. Yeah, the real name of this is Animal Crossing is New Horizons. Oh, uh, okay. All the rage, a bunch of people I know, especially uh, girls love this game. A lot of, a lot of uh, women I know bought Nintendo Switches specifically to play Animal Crossing. Yeah, I can see um, that. Yeah. 
Yeah, kind of like The Sims, but very cartoony. And uh, you're always in debt to this uh, this raccoon guy, I think, or something. Yeah. Uh, this is Apex Legends, a very, very popular Battle Royale style game. Uh, I think Dad said the the, the tough trio. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So this is a rip off of um, Fortnite? <laughs> no, the uh, the fighting game, uh, Mortal Kombat. Dude. Ooh, yeah. okay, all right. Interesting. Well, see, the, yeah. Interestingly enough, this is like a first person shooter type game. So, oh, yeah. This is uh, Bioshock. Uh, I think you said uh, uh, yeah. I heard Bioshock, yeah. You, you, you were right that it's Steam, but I think it, it takes place in kind of like an idealized future where. Um, this uh the scientist wants to create like a utopia so everybody's like underwater and it's all these rich people they all get hooked on this drug and then everything goes sideways and uh yeah you will probably need one of these guys to protect you as well let's see i think um i forgot what we said for this one this is a uh, dead by daylight a uh, very popular game where it's funny that you said you thought that th these were like light beams they stand for um the character so basically the premise of the game is that uh it's an online game one person plays as this like very strong you know like freddy krueger jason type you know villain character so it's literally like you guys are playing a horror movie and so it's like four people are just regular guys who have to like find maybe like a crowbar to defend themselves and then one guy is like you know jason so uh, i guess i think that's what these hash marks are for okay but gotcha. uh, it's really cool actually i got i actually got the game so i could check it out it seemed really interesting uh, and hopefully there's not a feature where you just fall, trip and fall on nothing and then you know uh, marlon wayans is like yeah you're <laughs> doing doing some reference and <laughs> Okay, this game is funny. There is no way for me to get the, get this one, but I just thought it would be funny to hear what you thought. Um, you know, it's really funny. You said this was like a like a General Mills product placement. <laughs> yeah, like it definitely. Promotion. Right, like now now that I think of it, this looks exactly like something McDonald's would come out with to distract yeah. you from you know Super Size Me and all that stuff. <laughs> like you know, everyone found out how much like trans fats they used to pump yeah, in. Yeah, or like the tobacco company they're trying to hook yeah. the next generation <laughs> on McDonald's food. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like hey, I'm Clucky the Chicken, and <laughs> cigarettes. Yeah. are good for you. Yeah. Burgers every day. Exactly right. A burger a day keeps a doctor <laughs> away. Go, yes. <laughs> go to Fun Records. No, yeah, but so this game is called Fall Guys, and the premise of it, it's funny it's called Fall Guys. The premise of it is that um, you play as these little characters, they run through an obstacle course, and you have to not fall off of the side of the road or whatever. Okay. So, yeah, there's all these, like, beams that come by, and you have to, like, time your jump, and there's all these, like, you know, uh, like a whack-a-mole, like, things pop up or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh, like, there's a lot going on, so you're working up an appetite. Yeah, you know, you oh! Eat, let's go have a burger, yeah. This whole, we just cracked this whole thing wide open. This, this is the <laughs> this, is, this is the Fall Guys conspiracy. <laughs> this game is uh, the very famous Grand Theft Auto V. Ah, uh, I know, okay. right? Yeah, I should guess that. One. <laughs> uh, I feel bad. Because th I think I, I forgot to cut off the end of that V right there, but that V is for the five. Um, yeah, and you, you were right that these guys are up to no good, that the dog bites people. Yeah, so that's the, that's the prostitute in the game then, that I always hear about. Well, see, there are prostitutes, but not all the women in the game are prostitutes. Some of the women uh, exist solely to be side characters that are never fleshed out. Uh, side such, pieces. <laughs> such, you, as, yeah. such as one of the characters, um, one of the characters has a... Uh, Oh, also, uh, that show you like, Better Call Saul, uh, he is in it. Uh, this guy right here on the on the right side. Really? Yeah, he's, um, I'm trying to remember who he plays. It's, the actor's name is Stephen Ogg. He, this guy is a, is a black movie character, so he's probably in The Wire, you know, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> every, every black actor is in The Wire. Yes. They all, I bet you, I don't know if The Wire, I don't know if they're, I, I don't even know if they're still making episodes of The Wire, but uh, if yeah. I ever make it as an actor, I'll wind up in there too. <laughs> Maybe they do like a reboot, like the fiber optic cable or whatever, yeah. you know, whatever it's called when they modern. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this. Yeah, you were right. This is Halo, uh, Xbox, the day giveaway. This one is uh, League of Legends, which is all the rage yeah, okay. with. Um, you might have heard it at some point. Yeah, it's all the rage with Gen Zers uh, and a lot of millennials. Uh, apparently, the game is very addictive. Uh, oh, and yeah, this is like one of those big esports games. So there's people out there that are millionaires uh, because they're pro athletes playing this game. Ah, uh, wow. Well. Mm -hmm. And he here I am, you know, get going to get a degree that you know they that my parents told me to get, and I could have just been at the computer playing a game and you know making the same money. It's an option. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Red Dead of Redemption Two. Uh, so you were right that this is a John Wayne simulator, basically. But uh, yeah, you, Clint Eastwood. Oh, that's like, yeah, there you go, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try to go with the celebrity that's less racist. Yeah. So we'll go with Clint Eastwood. Uh, yeah. So but yeah, this is a game where um, yeah, you're like a guy out in the old west and. You know, there's, you know, the duels and, you know, hunting and stuff. Yeah, yeah very realistic game. This game is Resident Evil Village. Uh, everyone's fixated on the main antagonist, 
uh, which is this like, she's this like vampire lady and she's like 10 feet tall and her name is like uh, Lady Dimitrescu. And uh, everyone, every, like, she's everybody's favorite. No one even talks about any of the other characters. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I bet the actor that plays him is like, wow, like, no one wants to sign, my, no one wants my autograph at Comic Con. Everyone wants her. Uh, this is Shadow of the Colossus, a uh, classic game. It was funny, at first I thought you were going to uh, falsely assume that he was the main character, but he is actually one of the, uh, one of the colossi, I guess, that you fight. The main character is the guy on the horse. This game is notable for its great soundtrack and visual and gameplay and very great experience. And also for the fact that there's no tutorial. They literally, this is how the game starts. Like, you, you're on the horse. Wow. And, okay. yeah, you're on the horse. And you just got pushing buttons. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, you better figure it out because he's coming. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, guys. That's exciting. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm hungry already. I don't, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I think this is the last one, uh, or the second to last. Uh, this is Wreckfest. So you were right ah, that okay. uh, this is a demolition derby close. game. Yeah, I know. You were really close with this one. Yeah, this is Wreckfest. Like, I have this game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I got it bootleg, so I can't go online. <laughs> and also, there's glitches sometimes, but you know, it beats uh, beats paying for the game. Uh, and but you know, now that I think of it, doesn't beat worrying about if I now have a virus on my computer. So uh, my dad works with computers, so I'll see if I can get some help with that. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah, this is me and my dad trying to guess what these games are. I mean, I already knew what they were, but you know, he's. He's, he had to, cause you know, he like when you're raising a family and stuff, you don't have time for, uh, you know, trying to figure out, they're just trying to play video games and, you know, reading IGN or anything like that. Like, you know, my dad's saving for retirement. He has more important things to do. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's it.